fishing or trespassing? A controversial issue still being discussed right now in Cape Coral. Residents are fired up, angry over people fishing on their private property, and they want the city to do something about it. Four in your corners, Matt Grant, with more on this heated controversy. Well, Emily, what started as a proposed ordinance that would ban fishing from 10 Cape Coral bridges over safety concerns with there not being enough light exploded tonight into a tense three-hour debate over, where pe over the right of where people can fish. For more than two hours, dozens of Cape Coral residents face council voicing concerns. It's private property. It's not parking lots. They're fed up with people fishing on their private property. I don't think that if you had people on your property, there would be any question that you would do something to stop it. We deal with it all the time. We have ladies afraid to go outside. Councilman Kevin McGrail proposed making it illegal to fish off 10 Cape Coral bridges, citing safety concerns. But residents like Cindy Marshall say the ordinance doesn't go far enough, since some people are fishing in her backyard. They're not fishing off this bridge anymore. They're going underneath the bridge. So this could be a whole new problem. Yeah. Marshall says she's caught people fishing on her property at all hours of the night. We were calling the policemen all the time. Could you and hear them pretty loud? Yeah, because our bedroom's like off that side, and they're just talking and having a gay old time. Across the street, Ian Sancho and his friends come to this residential canal to fish. What are you hoping to catch? Uh, snapper, sheepshead. But bridges are also a concern. The city has posted signs to keep people from fishing there, but without an ordinance, there's not much that can be done. This is one of the bridges that they want to make it illegal to fish off of. This is our spot, that ain't right. <laughs> it's our spot, I mean. We don't ever bother no one. At the canal on Skyline and Southwest 49th Lane, we found broken glass, fishing wire, cigarette butts, and 10 empty beer bottles, including a crumbled beer can where fishing wire is supposed to be trashed. What about people leaving beer bottles and okay. stuff like that behind? Be well, maybe they should provide fight. trash cans, too. Okay, well, almost four hours after this first came up for discussion, council members are still weighing in. Right now, the police chief is talking about what his department can do to try and address some of the residents' concerns instead of banning fishing on bridges. Right now, we're monitoring the meeting, and we'll let you know as soon as they make a decision. Live in the studio, Matt Grant, Fox 4 in your corner.